What's up? What's up, YouTube? Listen, it is so cloudy here. I don't know if anybody can, like, hold on. Let me clean this lens off. I don't know if anybody can, like, see how gloomy it is. Um, but this video, I just wanted to talk about um, the weather. Speaking of that, it's cloudy. Um, but have you ever noticed that in the past, like, I would even say, like, year or two, that the weather has been really, really off? I mean, I know why. I'm just, like, I'm asking you guys before I tell you. I'll say, here, I'll say it this way before I tell you my opinion. Because a lot of people are going to be in the comments saying, no, well, it's just Mother Nature and it's just the wind's going this way and the, the cloud. And the, no, it's not. It's not. It really isn't. Have you noticed the increasing amount of tornadoes? Hurricanes, tsunamis, really, really bad storms. And I can and I can vouch like in where I live at, I have never seen a storm so ferocious as the one, the two that we had in the past two years. The one last year completely buckled my whole gazebo. Like not just a little bend or it buckled the whole gazebo. It tore the whole thing off. Now, the storm that happened before that was worse. Okay, you, I was looking out my back door. You could not see nothing in front of you. I'd have to put my hand like right here, literally, to see something. Anything out, you could see nothing. All my gazebo did was slide lift up a little bit because I have a little wall on the side of my house slide lift up a little bit came back down that was it the next storm was not as bad it was still bad but it wasn't as bad as the first one and my gazebo was trashed and I had a warranty on it so I called them and they're like oh well, we don't cover natural disasters what do you cover if I pay you for a warranty I want my shit covered. Like, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. And, like, I have insurance for my house. But, like, for me to pay whatever my deductible is, it would have been easier for me just to get a whole new gazebo. But, we, I bought the floor model because that was the only one left. So... They had the, the store people take everything apart, and then I put it in, you know, in the vehicle, and I brought it here, and just put it back together. So I did get a little bit of a discount on it, but I still had a warranty. I still bought a warranty on it, and it pissed me off because I tried three times. I contacted the store, which is Big Lots that closed now where I bought it at, and then I contacted the warranty place. Gave them the receipt thing and everything, copies of it, and they said, okay, well, what happened? I'm like... It was damaged by a storm. It even broke my screen door to my back door. Um, like, that's how bad, like, this wind was. This was, like, almost 100 mile per hour winds. So, <clears throat> I don't know, guys. It's just, it's been really, really crazy. Like, I have never, in the past five years that I've been here, we've had rain and a couple things of hail, you know, stuff like that. But nothing as extreme as it has been since last year and this year. This year is the worst. I mean, people are getting hit so bad with tornadoes and hurricanes and tsunamis. And there are so many people that are losing their lives because of it. And it's just outrageous. So what I want to tell you guys is that back when we were younger, we used to rely on this weatherman that was on the on our, our weather channel. His name was Joe Donardo. When Joe told you what the weather was going to be, that's what it was. Okay, even though back then they still had this machine called HARP. Okay, it's H-A-A-R-P. Go look it up. Go do the research. They have weather modification tools. They have weather makers. Okay, this is what this tool thing is. It is a weather maker. Well, back then, when we had Joe DiNardo, when it said the weather was going to be 85 degrees and sunny, okay? And we planned our Kennywood trip based on what Joe said. And it happened. Like, it was... It, 
our perfect, our day, our Kennywood picnic, all of them were so beautiful. Like, we had, like, sprinkles of rain and stuff like that, but nothing bad. Now, you can't even plan stuff now. Like, if you want to plan something for, like, the end of July, you have to wait till the end of July. You could tentatively say, oh, it's going to be this day, but we'll see what the weather's like. That's it. That's all you could do. Because you cannot rely on this weather. Because they make it. They can. They could do anything. We just literally had. A heat streak. For like two or three days straight. Okay. It was 95, 97, 93. Like just that that high. But it felt like it was over 100. Today. It didn't even reach 75. That one time. We had weather. It was like 70 some degrees. And then like two days later, it was like 45. I was like, huh? 45 degrees. I was like, oh, heck no. No. Nope. I started doing research as I got a little bit older. And I was just like, no, this is not right. Like, you know, and now like, I know. I know that it's not Mother Nature. You know, they always, we always used to say, well, our mother told us that whenever the um, clouds were, I guess, traveling and bumping into each other, that's what caused the thunder. And, you know, it was just, and when thunder happened, that was the angels up there bowling. And when the rain came, that was Jesus or God crying. And like, we were just told so much BS when we were younger. That now that I like look at it and I'm like, why did I believe that? Why did I believe that? Like, it sounds stupid now, but back then when we were younger, we were like, oh, is that what happened? Is that what happens when that happens? Oh, okay. I know y'all laughing right now. I know. But listen, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and let me know if you guys were told any crazy stories whenever y'all were younger about the weather. And also, let me know if you guys know about HARP. If you guys don't know about it, go do the research. It's some serious, serious, serious crap. Not going to say what I wanted to say. But yeah. Um, also, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. And make sure you guys go watch the previous video that I just did and go join my membership. You will not be disappointed. It'll help your girl out. It'll help you guys get some more content from me. Um, like I said, it's in the bottom of the video. It says join. Just hit that button. Click what membership you want. There might only be one on there right now. I don't know. I haven't seen it for a while. Um, and also... Make sure you guys super thank or you could cash app donate to me. Every amount will be greatly appreciated. All right, y'all. I am getting out of here. It's actually not that bad today, but it's just been very, very cloudy all day long. It's kind of crazy. All right, y'all. I'm going to get out of here. I will see you guys in the next video. I actually have, let me see. I have two more videos to do. I was going to do a live. Uh, Mr. CBMG, we weren't able to get together this weekend so hopefully this Sunday coming up that we will be able to um we both you know had some things to do and Monday it was just kind of like hectic with you know us trying to you know set it up and get involved and so it was kind of crazy so I apologize for not having the live this week but um make sure you guys stay tuned make sure you guys stay tuned um I have a meetup that is coming up very soon with another you well a couple youtubers we're doing a meetup so make sure you guys stay tuned for that um that's it that's it like comment subscribe share whatever you need to do join the membership super thanks the little heart with the money symbol that's all you gotta do all right y'all like comment subscribe i appreciate you guys I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video.